two miles today. How was that? Did you enjoy that? Yes. I wish I had my car mount like I used to have back in the day. Can I remember when I used to have a car mount for my, my vlog adventures? So we're, <laughs> yesterday I tried to vlog. It didn't work out. It's just been one of those weeks. Mer Mercury's in Gatorade, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we're starting over and I really like the follow me around Friday uh, videos I've been doing lately. Don't mind my hair. I'm going to lift with Jared because, guys, I'm doing like a weightlifting meet. It's not like a sanctioned one. It's one that they're putting on here. It's a local one, so it's not quite the same, but I'm so excited about it. So I've been lifting with Jared, my old weightlifting coach, like once a week, and that is what we're doing today, and I'm so excited to bring you along with me because I haven't brought you to the weightlifting gym yet. I hope you're having a great morning, and let's freaking go lift. training with Jared he's literally never forgot me Ow. <laughs> forgot me today this week sucks everything that could go wrong this week went wrong like literally every single thing <laughs> and like shit just keeps happening and I'm just like wow this is just on brand for this week I'm so glad it's Friday so we can start fresh so he forgot me and now he's coming so I'm just gonna warm up and then we're gonna get to lift it. So, <laughs> what a day already. hanging. Yo, that's nice. Hello. Hi, buddy. Are you being a good girl? Oh, nice girl. You already know, just got back from the gym. I am going to make myself a shake. I got these cool little um, like container things from Target. They're like the OXO brand. And I really like having them for storing like my oats and my different German uh, proteins in there. 
So I'm going to make my shake, my uh, regular old vanilla with chocolate chip. It has been my go-to. Just look at it. Look at that creamy consistency. If you use frozen banana, it's even better, but I didn't have any more, so I just used regular. It's just like a freaking like little Wendy's Frosty. That's what it reminds me of. With the dark chocolate chips, look, oh, there's one freaking fire. All right, just went to Target to make a return. I had to get a couple of things, some oatmeal, some doggy bones. These little chunola ones are their favorites. Eliza's outside, would you like a chunola, ma'am? All right, would you like one too, Tuxie? These are, you want one too? Not today, okay. Got some fake eggs, because I didn't have egg whites again. Uh, eggs that cracked and went everywhere on the way home, so that's good. We love that. I just got some mushrooms, and then, of course, you know I got some chicken thighs, but I'm actually not making that. I have this recipe that I just posted on my Instagram last week when you guys are seeing this, and this is the white chicken chili recipe that I made with 0% Greek yogurt. It is so fire. Absolutely love this recipe, so I'm gonna have that with some chips for lunch. Just put a little bit of fresh cilantro and a little hot sauce on it, and then I'm gonna dip these guys, but there's just a little bit too much liquid in the bottom, so I'm gonna keep these on the side with the paper towel, and I'm gonna go back to work we go. <laughs> So I also want to show you before Austin comes home. So it's our one year wedding anniversary this weekend and we're doing like this date night at home then we're gonna to go to brunch on Sunday. But I made this cute little gift basket with the one as a balloon. And I, I don't know if I'll even like this, but I got this Bushnell golf thing. Apparently it's some type of thing that they put on the golf cart. He's a huge golfer, so I'm hoping he'll like that. These are little like golf clip things that you clip to your golf hat and he loves the Vikings. So I got that. I got him an air tag because he loses everything. And then the coolest gift that I got him, I'm so excited to see his reaction to this, was I got him these super awesome seats to the Vikings game. Like I tried to, <laughs> I tried to like print out like, where it is so it's like right behind the gold post on the viking side <laughs> so i'm really hoping that he will uh enjoy that and then his little card and then this little candle my mom got for us i thought it was so cute so i just wanted to include it in the basket because i thought that was a cute little anniversary gift basket tuxie does not like balloons so i need to put this away it's okay buddy he's not too sure about it i'm gonna put it away okay sorry I know. Okay. Also, before I put my retainers back in, since I just ate, look at my chompers. They're getting super straight. Uh, I've been kind of talking about it on Instagram about my Invisalign journey. And honestly, I really enjoy it. It's not that bad. You just have to brush and floss your teeth a million times a day every time you eat. So, other than that, it's not awful. And my teethers are getting nice and straight. <laughs> All right, taking my belt bar on the road, check out my outfit. White dogs, black leggings, white tank, and denim jacket because I really don't want to do my makeup. So this kind of looks like I'm put together. So they take me somewhat seriously at a car dealership, which update, they never really do. I have to go sell my car because I'm getting a new one, which was supposed to be here today. But of course, also really quick before I get in the car, I want to tell you guys this. Why is my camera so low? First of all, you know, I'm a really big fan of texture, right? I I freaking hate Quest Bars, like regular Quest Bars. They're disgusting. They have this very distinct taste in them that I think is so gnarly. So a lot of you guys, I'm not pointing the finger, but a lot of you are like, the Quest Hero Bars don't taste like that. Bitch, yes they do, okay? They taste gross. Consistency is good, I'll give it that. But the second I bit into it, I was like, absolutely not. Going with my tried and true. Uh, the Cookie Dough Built Bar, which are on the website as of today. But look at this, okay? You're getting real chunks of cookie dough. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. Ignore my hand. It's disgusting from Phillips. I should bring another snack. It's a 30 minute drive, so I need multiple snacks. Last Zoom meeting of the day. And then we, I'm gonna be parking my butt right there with those guys. To watch our show, we started this show on Netflix called The Squid Games. Um, it's I kind. I know what it is. They are. Yeah, it's supposed to be the number one like 
highest watched show on Netflix history. Oh, well, uh, it's very gory, just FYI for those of you who uh, might want to watch. We've been watching it, so we're going to finish that, and then I'm going to feed the doggies, and then we're just going to hang out. Still no update on the car. It was supposed to be in at 4.30 today, but honestly, with the way this week is going, I'm just like expecting that to not happen, or it's going to roll up with like one wheel missing <laughs> or something like that. So I'm about to start the Zoom meeting. And I think I honestly might do baked oats for dinner because I ate so much of that white bean chicken chili that I'm not hungry. And I'm hoping that when I'm done with the Zoom meeting, I'll have like, I'll show you the, I'll show you when I'm coming up with the baked oats. So I ripped off this top portion because I wanted to make sure it was cooked on the inside. And so far I've just been kind of like playing around with some different recipes and different temperatures on the air fryer and whatnot. And 375 makes it too dark on the outside and not cooked enough on the inside, but it's done now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some peanut butter on that to cover that up. It's like a little cake. I also added uh, this little protein yogurt, by the way, this is from the brand Ratio. I know it's dairy, but I literally only use 25 grams because it has four times the amount of protein. So these are pretty cool if you need a little bit of extra protein and you just kind of want like a little snack. There's only four fat, eight carb, and 25 protein, which is a massive amount for a little yogurt guy. So I thought maybe I would use that as an egg replacement, which I have found works really well. This is actually what I'm having for dinner because I didn't want so I'm gonna eat my little mug cake. I'm still, I just, this is still a little bit too mushy on the inside for me, but it's kind of like a banana bread. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this follow me around Friday video. If you did, of course, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe so you never miss Monday and Thursday with Manders. And I'm off to go have a casual Friday night with the husbands over there and the doggies. And I'll see you guys in my next one.